from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Nights in America. I'm Chris Hansen. By my side, as always, is Joe Stapleton. Thank you, Chris. Today's show is a case study in how you can win with any two cards as long as you get super lucky and Jen Tilly's there to pay you off. And we wrap up our in-depth interview with Jen. It's everything you ever wanted to see about Jennifer Tilly that can't be found on Mr. Skin. Is that website still up and running, by the way? Uh -huh. We continue day one here at Rivers Pittsburgh, and the story is Sean Deeb in seat five. Wow, that's a lot of money. Sean Deeb is going to need a Netflix documentary to get him out of prison because he is murdering this game. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi. I played a lot of hands poorly over the last decade. And uh, out of all the hands you played in the last decade, where would you rank that one? Like 1,007? Like 17,000 <laughs> worth hand I played? You're like jacked on Red Bull. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Dan Wolf, we will also call him Cletus throughout the night, Too raises bad. with Queen Nine of Spades. Don't ask why. You gotta be kidding me that the guy with hair like a lichen is named Wolf. I saw some animals outside with less hair than that guy, and they were actual wolves. So it's me, uh, one for, well, I think one for 13 now. You won two hands, the kings and the nine. No, 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 for calling three bets in the past two days. I'll let you guys know. The past two days, all the games don't matter for this game. Okay, well, I'm yeah, those over hands are over, buddy. Game. Over two. Aldridge calls, so we're heads up with Alec Torelli and Dave Aldridge. Torelli's so good in this game. No more black, okay. Air for Eldridge. A pair of aces for Torelli on that flop. 1,300 the bet from Torelli. Top pair, good kicker, makes sense. A call, for some reason, from Eldridge. Yeah, it must mean he's gonna try to take it away on the turn or river. Not sure why Torelli's in the tank here. Seems like a pretty easy spot to take another bet or, or don't. I guess you could check and try to get a river bet in. Either way, Ace Jack is gonna be the best hand here a lot and your opponent is rarely gonna have much equity. So Torelli checks, and this would be the opportunity that maybe Eldridge was looking for to bet and steal this pot. Sean, um, are we allowed to watch this live stream, or if somebody tells us? I mean, we've we usually been playing not to do it. Oh, if okay. If you get a hand, you like tell someone like okay. uh, someone told me. I was like, okay, I didn't know that. I'm gonna tell me then. No tell, Sean. That's I'm what we, I, think I wasn't gonna text yeah. anybody, but, but uh, just in case. Marie kept getting hands. I was like bitching at her. She's like, oh, I'm like, stop that. Like it's yeah. just. No, it's fine. It, everyone's got to do it or no one's got to do it. It just. No, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I won't. Everyone's got to do what or no one's got to do. Not getting hands texted to them. Uh, Torelli calls, which is going to confuse no, Eldridge. Straight through, straight through, right? Well, not it means he's just going to have to bet again on the river. Like people texting. So the question is now, does Torelli bet or does he check and let Eldridge bet? Well, Torelli does check, so let's see what Eldridge does. What? They're going to tell you you had what? When you check raised me, I had 9 10. That's and what they're going to tell you. And what was on the float? I don't know. Not 9-10. <laughs> <laughs> we know he doesn't straight. like folding one pair, so he didn't I have did, a pair. I did have a gut shot. Yeah. Yeah. And here is the bet from Eldridge. It's 8,500. He's yeah. all in. Like well, I said Alec was looking at check week. call, but this is one bluff that might get through. I've been telling people I wasn't invited, but yeah. Right, yeah. I think I actually was sick. And Torelli is going to give it up. Wow. Well played, Dave Eldridge. You guys always know. Yeah, from the Alec always knows, dude. He's, look at him over there. Look at him. Yeah, I'm an I'm official member. They said I would have to drive the trucks to the next location, but I knew they were just joking. I was an honorary member. They just want more time with you, Jen. Yeah. We all want more time with you. Yeah. I want more time with Jen. My VHS copy of Bound is completely worn out. I was on Johnny Carson back in the 80s is how old I am. And um, OK, you just sat there. I'm sorry. Oh no, that was a different story. <laughs> 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 no, I told this. I told this story at Johnny Carson. <laughs> I forgot. I think a random bluff. Right. Okay. I don't even remember my hand. Did I play this? I guess I did. I feel so bad that I didn't get that joke that I'm just going to focus on the poker for the rest of the hand. Jennifer flops up and down. That's a great like. Like we're all young enough. We're like Johnny Carson. Like, Carson. Like, change the... the Deeb's thing. got a set of eight, so he's in the lead. That's funny. And poor Brady has top pair, top kicker. Sean with 76% of the equity five ways. Eight. 
800 the bet from Deeb, call from Brady. Tough to get away from TPTK. And that's a call from Jennifer Tilly. So five becomes three as we go to the turn. Uh, Jennifer and Matt Brady both pick up flush draws. Brady's the nut flush draw. He's betting that draw. Good he yourself. bets 1,800. Yeah. Did you bag chips in the tournament? Nice, nice. Uh, 140, yeah. yeah. Still don't see how Jen can't call. She does. Over to Sean Deeb. With Deeb in position, I think there's a chance he raises. He also might figure a raise won't get any folds anyway, and he might want to take the lower variance route, which is to just call. Probably has tips, right? I think I've read some of yeah. the There is the call from Deeb. Hopefully he's sleeping tonight <laughs> before the Deeb's in a good spot. Obviously, now he can watch what everyone's going to do after the river comes out. It's a queen. I've never so done So until he I've gets there with thing. her straight. Yeah. But Matt Brady's willing to put in $4,000 here on the river. That's all it'll take there, Tilly. Two stacks of black. Call. Yeah. He does call. Makes my price better. Only because you've been playing so much PLO. You can just have <laughs> ace deuce, ace of hearts, ace ten, ace of hearts. Bet bigger, probably. I got a PLO hand. Oh, Great read, Sean. Got... So good. Nice fold. Sweet. Sure. Uh, that's sick. That's a sick hand to lose to. Uh, there was a chance I thought she might have had a straight. <laughs> nice hand. I didn't uh, think I was going to win. I didn't think I lost to that hand. Set of eights. Great set fold, Sean Deeb. Great eights. river, Jennifer set Tilly. Yeah. Wow. Both Tilly and Eldridge now have a bunch of chips in front of them, which means there's lots of ammo there for them to go to war. War! More Poker Night in America after this. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Poker Night in America from Rivers in Pittsburgh. Jack Schombacher in the four seat is straddling. It's hard for Jen. That means Sean Deeb will be first. But <laughs> <laughs> we found a way. <laughs> Dave Eldridge. We move our way around the table. As he reaches for raising chips with 6-10 suited, would you say he's more a winner or a loser in this game? I would say he's ultimately a winner, but he is kind of like Sean Deeb. He will have huge swings back and forth. But I think ultimately he's a winning player. He is a maniac, and he is in big, big trouble because he is up against kings, and all the big hearts are getting folded. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi. I lost your drink, buddy. I'm That's sorry. Okay. This bag. Right, the piece, so so Eldridge is calling. Yeah, I like a yeah, fold the there. I think you should have made like Crystal time. Wang and folded. Jennifer, my wife just texted me. Says when I'm not pregnant, I should be on the show. A few glasses of wine, and you, she could be as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure she could. <laughs> I always give her a hard time. She's still so mad that she never introduced herself to you at PCA. Aww, I want to meet her. She was like, she, she wanted to say in the bathroom. Right. She was like. I'm Ellen Deeb's granddaughter. Because oh <laughs> then God. you would have lost. That would have been cute. And she was like six months pregnant. I want to see her in a pregnant, 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 pregnant again. Yeah, yeah. King, congrats. That's Thank fantastic. You. That's awesome. Yeah. The other guys, what, like one and a half? Two. Mm -hmm. There'll be two in May. Mm -hmm. I was going to say one and a half. Yeah, two. Yeah. And now a raise from Eldridge. I just, well, now that Eldridge just has just hit like top Brady. two pair, I actually do like this raise. Dude, the people I know are doing Especially if he thinks Brady's like gonna have a lot of over pairs. Yeah. He's gonna get paid all the time. And you gotta protect a two pair. Wow, Eldridge got Brady to put all the money in the middle and a quick call from Dave. It's a story of a man named Brady who is raising up two very cracked up kings. That's all I got. Well, if that's all you got, all Dave Eldridge got was all of Matt Brady's chips, yeah. and he just got those. He covers. It's okay. He's got enough. Yeah, I guess you could probably call it tilt. Uh, I was losing a lot of hands. I was down probably 25K. Uh, he had three bet me five or six times. Uh, one time I four bet light. Uh, that hand I just decided to defend 10-6 defend suited and you know, obviously just got a gin flop against two kings and 
Just got really lucky to win that hand. Thinking Chris, we've like, got a double straddle. Are you pot committed? Sound the alarm. Huh? Are you pot committed on this thing? Or okay, no alarm. Oh, I, I, it's okay. It's not in the budget this year anyway. A real, I, might, I might pull like one of the most creative business like trades. Oh, that's I'm exciting. I'm one of those gin things. Oh, uh, yeah. Make it three of those hundreds. Things are getting expensive out there. Torelli makes it 600 with a seven. And Jennifer Tilly is making it 15. Huh? It's his uh, 10 for him. Yeah, yeah. Do we have to pay for the drink? No, no, no. <laughs> we just tip them. What is it? Okay. Six and then 15? I'm kind of glad to see that Matt Brady folded. I'd hate to okay. see him get stacked three yeah, consecutive <laughs> hands. There's also two here. Are you yep. sure you got this right? Hey, Chris, check yeah, I mean, this you out. You counted, but it looks Wolfman's good Wolfman's got cards. Oh, you just showing just who did it. and seen 500 on the bottom. Oh, I know. I appreciate it. Everyone's keeping an eye for me. No one likes Matt. I like Matt. So Cletus with Kings. I'm guessing we're not staying at 1500. I saw a werewolf with pocket clangers in his hand. Nice life, buddy. All in. Playing through the streets of poker. It's a raise. We'll just go ahead and put them all in the middle. I played this bad. What? I played it bad. It's like I pick up hand it's, and I was just playing it so bad. 11? I played it bad. I played, <laughs> such I played a great it so line. bad. But it's like, oh, okay, I'll just like smooth call 15. Like, uh, what, what does that look like? Or like, oh, I'll just like make it like whatever here. Like, what does that look like? I don't know. 2850. Oh, I'm so stuck. I'm gonna just call. King. Oh, you have kings. We have the wheel. If you have queens, you're in good shape. She does have queens. Oh, she is not in good shape. Is that you? No. Close? No. It's hard it's for that to be her. No. How about now? Diamond. Nope, not. still not close. How about now? Why don't I have jacks? Nice hand. All right, how much was it? 11 something? <laughs> Cletus, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I mean, it could be. It could be like threes or fives. I don't know what she has. I was like, is that you? It's like 10 five threes. Like, oh. Oh, okay. All right, you did go with your your fast talking. Uh, I don't lie. Bad. What? Yeah. yeah, I'm all. I'm all. Yeah, I don't yeah, lie. Actually, yeah, a lot of people actually like recently. Somebody told me he's like, man, I don't, I don't think you should talk as much when you're in a hand. I think like, I just don't. I don't think it helps you out. Sounded like he was trying to get me to call, which I reverse tell that as he's trying to sound like he's getting me to call because he wants me to fold. She thought. Maybe I was doing like a reverse tell on her, and then it gets all that meta game levels and this and that. But uh, yeah, I just kind of say stuff. Uh, that's what Cletus does. He creates this little tsunami of you're like, I don't even know what end is up. I don't know what he's talking about. What? You just want the clamor to go away. Like, stop talking, stop talking. Yeah, I talk quite a bit, whether I'm in a hand or out of a hand. Yeah. There's three things you should do each day. You should laugh, cry, and engage in deep thought. If I can make somebody laugh, then I'm kind of making a third of their day. So I just try to make people laugh, I guess. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. It takes two to tango. Who's the better dancer? Jen Tilly or Dave Eldridge? Just let the cards do the talking. Okay. Or dancing. Kind of a mixed metaphor. So Brady, just sit in the one seat, buddy, and print money on this. Yeah. You can th give me ten percent of your action of it. Twos well, is probably off it. only like. It, it, there's no way you're printing. It's like, like you said, super. It, super. You no, know, it might be like a three percent edge or something. It I don't think it's that high. I don't know. I don't I think mean, it not can be that. All right, so Dave Eldridge, active again, makes it four hundred of these queen. I mean, think what's the normal and it looks like he's about 60? to tangle with Jen so Tilly again. Six combos to five combos versus most numbers. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, it's a valid point. Calls with ace five. It also depends on whether odd or even is a more likely combo in basketball. It has to do some, something right, to do with um, it. I did see that. And Dave Eldridge has gotten the best hand with nothing and the best draw. Jen's got the best optimistic draw, which is running diamonds. Sometimes I like to count that a little bit. The backdoor, backdoor draw. Yeah, yeah why not? <laughs> runner, runner happens yeah, a lot. I think two is probably the best number. It happens to you, it can happen <laughs> for you. I wonder if that odd even was each individual team score or the total of the game. See, Jennifer Tilly, also an optimist. Elders can call and try to hit the nuts straight still. He's never drawing dead. And sometimes he's gonna have the best hand already, which he did and does now. But there's one of those diamonds that you were talking about. So Jen Tilly now has the nut flush draw. She's actually got a royal draw. Three. Oh, 
call from Dave. This way, if the river's terrible, you can still get away from it. We're now over 10,000 as we go to the river. That is a great river for Dave Eldridge. It's been checked to him. He should be able to value bet this pretty comfortably. Of course, if he doesn't get raised, he's gonna throw up in his mouth a little bit. 2,500 is the bet from Eldridge. Okay, the Eldridge always have the best hand. So sick. See, now I said that Eldridge was gonna be in a really bad spot if Jen decided to raise, but after she sighs like that, I don't really think she can. I mean, I get that she's an actress and all, but. The curiosity is just getting to Jen and she can't help herself. There's the call. Yuck. And it's always rough when the most live dude at the table has it. Nice hand. Eldridge always has the best hand. Yeah, if she had gone all in on the river or something, I would have folded. But when she checks the river, uh, I know that I have the best hand. But now that there's a four straight and a flush, I just know that I, I just can't bet that much. It's so anticlimactic. I'll never run it twice, so it doesn't matter. I, like, I mean, yeah, we just wait till the river to get in. I'm the same never. way. Like, yeah. I don't. I'd rather run it three times waste twice, because at least someone wins. Like, at least I agree with that more, yeah. You know? I'm a you wise, can, you can get like me it. for three, you're never getting me for two. Yeah, three's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get hurt, but you, you could, you know? It's kind See, of like... I, I believe in just letting the cards take their course. Like, the game wasn't made to run it more than once. You just gotta let the cards take their course. Like, just yeah, let usually, it be how I it's supposed to be. Once, yeah? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I really, I'm not like that emotional about once, twice, or three times. But it's not yeah, something you... I can you, you can run this one a hundred times, and Eldridge is gonna win 96 of them. That was the one and that two are gonna be like, chops. You know? Yeah. All the nits like I want to run twice. Like yeah, that's <laughs> so good. Then you have the fish. Oh, uh, if so, uh, you never win. Like you win the first one, you never gonna win the second one. The twice is kind of anticlimactic. You know? And now up to fifty-seven hundred. And Matt Brady's been getting his lunch eaten today, like he's been leaving a firehouse sub unattended in the break room fridge at the Thunderdome. Brady folds. I'm folding. Good fold. I was getting in, in two jobs. So. Billy's all in. Maybe I got some Eldridge though. calls. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't reload. Oh, <laughs> sick. Yeah, Sorry, I shouldn't I take the like gen I, now. I feel like, I, what did you say you I had? had the same hand. You did? You yeah. Well, not the same hand, different suits. I different suits, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, it's hard though. Take back you doll. <laughs> your little voodoo doll. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't trying to help you out. Right, right. Well, nice well it's because you covered its face up. It's still gonna help you out when you just no, have a blindfold. It's cold. It. It's covering its mouth so as not to give off any chills. Oh. The problem is when I lose chips, I don't want to get the chips back from anybody. I want to get them back from the person that I gave them to. So this is, he's two for two. Like, um, twice he managed to get the better of me. And um, her and I have played a lot of big pots, and I've had really good hands against her a lot of times. So I could definitely understand why, uh, why she's frustrated, because I blasted her a lot. All right, well, let's take a glance at the losers. Like Bobby, no win. Jason Andrew, loser. Jennifer Tilty and Matt Bray, D minus performance. And Sean Deeb, oh, somebody's buying tonight. 43,000 in profit. And Dave Eldridge, pretty good session as well, up 14,000. Time for a break, but when we come back, we bring you the dramatic conclusion of Face Up with Jennifer Tilly. Boom, boom, boom. You gotta replay the entire hand before you're really thinking on the river. And you're starting with all the possible hands that he could have here, and you're funneling them down this way until you get to what you think his hand is. This looks really exciting, but I have to post this before before I get felted. <laughs> Run it up, Phil Helmy style. Uh, you're gonna have to start shopping at Target. No more Louis Vuitton for you. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Stapes, quick, top three favorite Jen Tilly movies. Go. Liar, Liar, Cult of Chucky, Liar, Liar. Liar, Liar twice, huh? Nice. Yeah, the second time I watched it, I got more of the nuance. <laughs> then I would suggest watching our next segment as many times as possible. It's part two of our in-depth interview with Poker Night's most popular player. We are Face Up with Jennifer Tilly. I've always thought this, that I'm a better theater actress than I am a film actress. 
and I just feel like, well, you know, I'm very big. I'm very, <laughs> you can see me from the balconies. Like when we were very young, um, my mom, we were incredibly poor. I only had one pair of shoes, but she always managed to find money for the theater or the ballet, but we'd be in the very last row. So I was incredibly grateful when an actress would look up and I could see their face, like, and so I'm always acting to the back row, to, you know, the seven and eight year old in the back row. I just want to make sure everybody can see me and everybody can hear me. When I met Phil, I actually met him at the Celebrity Invitational. And Phil came over, he, was, he goes, there's that girl I really like. So he came over and he's trying to teach me how to play poker. It's <laughs> like waving him off, like, I don't need to know how to play poker. I, I know, I got this, okay? I went home and I reached in my pocket and there were all these phone numbers. I went, who are these people? And I threw them away. Then about four months later, I went to a, a poker tournament and Phil was there. He's like, hi, Jennifer, hi. And I was like, oh, there's that guy that likes me. So, <laughs> so he's sitting behind me the whole time, you know, talk, trying to talk to me while I was playing. And uh, at the end of the night, he goes, how can I get a hold of you? And I go, huh, give me your phone number, I'll call you. And he goes, that's what you said the last time. I was so embarrassed that he was so <laughs> inconsequential. I didn't even remember giving him that same line. And he goes, tell you what. Why don't you give me your phone number? Because it's only 3% you'll call me, but it's 100% I'll call you. And I was so embarrassed, I didn't know what to do. And I gave him my phone number, and I actually gave him my real phone number. But he said later he'd been planning, like, if I ever see that girl again, and she says that to me again, that's what I'm going to say. That's it from Rivers for now. Next time, we start a whole new day here with some new and old players. But if you haven't seen them, they're new to you, or if you're senile. <laughs> for more from Poker Night, you can find us at PokerNight.com, or you can connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information for full episodes and our unedited live streams. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. Thanks for watching Poker Night in America. Mashed potatoes, I just got a wicked craving for mashed potatoes. I gotta find some mashed potatoes. That's right, Eldridge, I'm coming for you. Yes, yes, you. Yes, that's right. You can grow a beer, but you can't hide from me. I'll know it's you. I'm coming. I'm going to take all your money, and I'm going to take your self-respect. <laughs> Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi.